Hello, my name is Dan Cohen. I'm the Vice President of Sales for Friedman Seating FMS in 41. Today, I want to show you how a switchable retractable seatbelt works. Switchable retractors are very common in the second row and the third row of automobiles, minivans, and SUVs. Also, every three-point seat sold by FMS, Friedman Seating Company, and 41 is switchable and we want you to understand how it works and why it's even there to begin with. There are two types of seatbelts. There's an ELR, emergency locking retractor, and an ALR, automatic locking retractor. ELRs, emergency locking retractors, lock when the seatbelt senses an emergency. So in a sudden deceleration or a crash, the belt locks. There's also a sensor built into the retractor that senses when the vehicle is about to tip over or roll a little bit, and it will lock as well. When this occurs, the sensor inside the retractor makes the belt lock, and it holds the occupant in place. ELRs tend to be more comfortable to wear because they let the uh, occupant move. They can move around the vehicle a little bit, turn around, without the belt cinching up on them. An ALR automatic locking retractor locks after the tongue or the seatbelt, the webbing has been extended a little bit, usually about 10 inches or so, and then it's allowed to retract just a slight amount. Once that happens, the belt locks automatically. It'll only get tighter and will never get looser. The only way for the belt to get looser is for you to let it fully retract into the retractor, reset the system, and start again. It's important to note that ALRs automatic locking retractors are required to secure a child seat. If you have a removable child seat, you want to make sure that the child seat remains firmly secured to the seat. You don't want it to move. So you need to have the belt in the ALR mode. You need an automatic locking retractor to hold the child seat firmly in place. Our seat belts give you the best of both worlds. They're switchable. And what that means is that we give you the comfort of wearing an ELR, an emergency locking that can be switched to an ALR, automatic locking belt, when needed. In order to switch the seat belt from ELR to ALR, what you do is you take the belt and you fully extend the webbing. Once you pull it all the way out, there'll be a small click. What you've done then is you've switched it from ELR to ALR. Now, as the belt goes in, it's only going to get tighter, it's never going to get looser. You've switched it from ELR to ALR. So, if you want to secure a child seat, you're ready to do that now. Here's the thing to know. If you don't have a child seat and you're sitting in the seat, the belt is just going to get tighter and tighter and it's never going to get looser. To some passengers, this can be very uncomfortable and to a few, even scary. What you need to do to correct this is unbuckle the belt, let it go all the way back in, you've now reset it to ELR mode, and go ahead and reuse the seat belt. Make sure that if you do this, you're off to the side of the road, you don't want to do it in, in traffic, um, and do it safely. So, pull the belt all the way out, switch it, now it's in uh, ALR mode, only get tighter, never get looser, let it go all the way back in, and it's reset. We want to thank you for using Friedman Seating Seats, FMS Seats, for one Seats. We appreciate your business, and thank you again. And please make sure you buckle up every time you drive a ride.